The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? Build the sails! It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome, bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. I'll be forever grateful to you, sir. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafou nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. 
Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain, I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shay. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. They also took the liberty of ordering some of the ruins. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I've heard of such technology that a weakness in separation. What about Smith then? He goes by. Why? He sails his very waters. And he may have the precursor body. Okay, let's find him. Why? He sails his very waters. There he, he is. May have Most the precursor body. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase! Hold your fire! You must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea! Can this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target's a smart man, but out of his element here. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What he's doing in these waters? Maybe he came here to beat someone. Or ran into the pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. He's back from a long voyage. Who knows who the Templars well, doesn't he? He out of the way. Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll cut through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. The fault of those he's watching. It's an ambush. Halfway you see Diablo not there. Smith must not escape. No man will run. Fire! Another man down! 
don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. Is this another Templar tactic? You can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shane. You could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Fire! Fire! Now we know where he was headed. Bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. artifact treasure from those who came before yes it matters not <coughs> some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript and all shall be revealed
Get the maid sails into the wind! Of all you young sailormen, listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. And it's windy weather, boys, and stormy weather, boys, when the wind blows. We're all together, boys, blow ye winds westerly, blow ye winds blow, jolly sailor, boys. Albany, sir, just visit. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape.
about that young officer, Charles I hear he's got potential. Our own funny Prince John. I like him. Ah, uh, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join or die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript, Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mean the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Now to Wardrop and the manuscript. Man, get him! Buster! He's dead away! 
night. I'll take that. You Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. All right. I have the manuscript. Great. Hope is waiting for you in Sleepy Hollow. What's in Sleepy Hollow? Benjamin Franklin. And Johnson hired to make that strange precursor box work. So what's the plan? We meet Hope, impersonate one of Johnson's men, and give the box of manuscript to Franklin. So I'm a messenger, then? Aye. See if this Franklin can figure out how this damn box operates. Stay with him. Hope. As far as we can tell, this man doesn't know about the Templars or the Assassin. Oh, a simple task. <laughs> For a simple man. Douse the Royals of Tufts! Get those clues up! Fall down! Fall down! are asked to notify a governor, churchman, or educator at the first sight of a potential outbreak of disease. Let's work together as a community to remain strong and healthy. The Jacobite doctor. We're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? 
Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can I'm sure you're seeing things, but I'll take a picture. Did you see that strange stuff in Benjamin Franklin's guard? I keep well clear of that place. They say that man was lightning. Speaking of lightning, I reckon there's a storm coming. Aye, let's hope she demures until we're off duty. Hey, darling. You want four five? Sure, if you bring your maid. Possibly. the last of it. Yes, it is, sir. Good. Put it with the rest. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Let's hurry back to Franklin. You! Stop there!
a nap. Where is that? Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Expected me. 